There is a need to promote education to ensure a bright future for Buddhism. Venerable Wei Wu, abbot of Tansiang Temple, saw this need and established the International Buddhist College with the objective of grooming quality monastic and lay Buddhists. IBC places equal emphasis to develop the students both academically and spiritually. Its managing philosophy and curricula cover all the three major traditions of Buddhism. Gotifotia 那个时候种下来了 The International Buddhist College offers BA, MA, and PhD programs in Buddhist studies conducted in English and Chinese. Students may choose to attend classes in English or Chinese. International Buddhist College is a non-sectarian Buddhist institution where equal attention paid to all the Buddhist tradition, namely Theravada, Mahayana and Vajrayana. IBC is proud of its prestigious faculty members, namely Professor Charles Villeman, Director, Professor Kapila, Vice Rector and Dean of Faculty of Religious Studies, Professor Jamspal, Dean of Faculty of Scriptural Language Studies, and Professor Tilak, Dean of Graduate School. I could, I could gain a, a lot of uh, new knowledge related to Buddhism. The teachers here in IBC are um, they're all very good. They are able to, uh, to convey um, the Buddhist teachings in a proper way. And um, the life in general here in IBC is, uh, it is, it is very open. It is, people are acting friendly with each other. The library houses a large variety of books, including Chinese, English, Pali and Sanskrit for the reference of students. Its favorable facilities and comfortable and peaceful environment make an ideal place for study. I love learning in IBC because of its uh, perfect atmosphere and peaceful environment. And the most impressive thing here for me is library. Since the IBC library has the most uh, complete collections of English Buddhist uh, reference books in this part of the world and impre impressive amount of uh, books in Chinese and other languages. Another important thing is uh, lecturers here have very good um, teaching experiences and they are specialized in uh, different Buddhist traditions. So they have been very helpful in my studies. Morning and evening chanting is one of the important Buddhist daily routines. Students are given the option to participate in the Theravada or Mahayana chanting. Its purpose is to remind ourselves of the Buddha's teachings. By studying and understanding the teachings found in the scriptures, we are able to put them into practice, thus enriching our lives and we feel more comfortable. Occasionally, chanting is done in other languages such as Sanskrit or Tibetan. Lecturers will join in the chanting activities from time to time to motivate and encourage the students. Working outdoor together is a kind of mental and spiritual cultivation. While they work in unity, preparing and cultivating the soil, there is no discrimination, delusion or attachment. Students and teachers of IBC are at ease 
when they toil and till the land together, striving to be self-sufficient. It is like experiencing genuine cultivation in daily life. 遇到佛法不容易，能够有机会修学佛法就更难得了。佛教所说的信解行证，是要通过对法的系统的学习和实践，通过系统的学习佛法，树立正知正见。这是我选择来国际佛教大学的原因。Students of IBC come from different countries. Occasionally, they will cook ethnic cuisines not only to share but exchange cooking experiences with the others. The canteen staff prepares nutritious breakfast and lunch daily. Teachers and students enjoy the buffet together in accordance with the Buddhist etiquette. Fully reflecting the spirit of harmony, the International Buddhist College has planted the seed of enlightenment. May the students work towards promoting friendly relationship based on mutual respect between different Buddhist traditions. May they carry on with the Buddha's wish for the good of the many. International Buddhist College.